For this lesson, we are going to look at converting between improper fractions and mixed numbers. So first up, we have what is an improper fraction? It is a fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So 4 over 3, 4 is bigger. 5 over 1, 5 is bigger. 12 over 6, 12 is bigger. Versus a mixed number is a number that contains both a whole number and a fractional part. So whole number of 5, fraction 3 fourths. Whole number of 2, fraction 1 third. So we're going to convert from between these two. So how do we convert from an improper fraction to a mixed number? So right here we have an improper fraction and we're eventually going to convert that and turn that into the equivalent mixed number number. So we're going to use long division. In order to use long division, I am going to have my factor chart out, sorry, not my factor chart, my resource packet out with my multiplication chart. We're going to write down the quotient, that answer from the long division problem as the whole number part of the mixed number, and any remainder as the numerator above the original denominator. So here, we've got 39 over 5, so I'm going to show some long division here. We are dividing 39 by 5. So on my multiplication chart, I can see how many times does 5 go into 3. It does not. So how many times does it go into 39? So 5 goes into 39. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 is too big, so 35 is seven times. So it goes in seven times, five times seven is 35, and I subtract. 39 minus 35 is four. We have nothing else left to bring down, so this is our remainder here, right? So the whole times it goes in of seven is the whole number, our four, that remainder is going to be the numerator, the top number in our fraction, and our denominator of 5, our original denominator of 5, stays 5. Let's try this one again. We got 74 over 8. So I'm going to set up a long division problem. 74 divided by 8. And getting out my multiplication chart. 8 does not go into 7. How many times does it go into 74? So looking at our multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80 is too big. So 72 is the most it can go in. If we go up, that's 9 times. So it goes into 74 9 times. And as we just saw, 8 times 9 is 72. And then we're going to subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. 7 minus 7 is 0. We have nothing else left to bring down, so this is our remainder. The whole number amount of times it goes in is the whole number in our answer. And then for our fraction, the remainder goes on top of our fraction in the numerator. That original denominator of 8 goes on the bottom. So we technically have 9 and 2 eighths, but what I'm going to double check is using my factor chart, I'm going to see if 2 and 8 can simplify. So I'm looking at 2, I'm looking at 8. Do they divide by anything? Yes, they both divide by 2. So our whole number of 9 stays the same, but I'm going to divide. 2 divided by 2, if you don't know that in your head, use your factor chart. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2, if you don't know that in your head, go to your factor chart. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our simplified number is 9 and 1 fourth. So that's going from improper to mixed number. Let's do the reverse, from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So in this case, we're going to multiply the whole number on the outside times the denominator to get an answer. So here, 2 times 6 is 12. Then we add the 
that number to the numerator. So we take that number of 12 and we add the numerator of 5 to get 17. And then we write that result above the original denominator. So 17 over that original denominator of 6. So let's try it for 4 and 3 fifths. I am multiplying 4 times 5, which is 20. I am adding that numerator of 3. So 20 plus 3 is 23. So now for our fraction, we take that 23 is going to go on top. That's going to be our numerator over, just like for the other problems, the original denominator of 5. So your denominators are always staying the same throughout this. Let's try number 4. We're going to multiply 9 times 8. Use your multiplication chart if you need to. Is 70. Two, and then we are adding our numerator, so plus that numerator of 7. 7 plus 72 is 79. Now for our answer, that 79 goes on top over the original denominator of 8.